<laughs> hey, Internet. Welcome back. I'm Hector Navarro. We've got a heck of a week for you this week. We're talking Legends of Tomorrow. We're talking Lucifer. And we're talking Arrow. Plus, from Gotham, Cameron B. Cordova is back for a second week in a row. This is DCTV. Let's get into it, y'all. First up tonight, Monday night, on an all-new Legends of Manana, previously on The Legends. Wally West has shown up. Yes, Wally is here. And, unfortunately, Ray Palmer has been abducted by Damien and Nora Dark. Yeah, they have taken him hostage. They're trying to get Ray's genius to help them fix the fire totem. So here's what Ray does. On tonight's episode, he's trying to use this sort of power struggle to his advantage, which means that Ray Palmer and Nora Dark end up in 1960s East Germany trying to fix this fire totem, where they meet none other than a younger, deadlier, more lethal, sexier, hairier Damien Dark. Yeah, his hairstyle is something else. It's very Mod Squad, okay? It's very swinging 60s, baby. Yeah, it's great. It's really fun. It's really, it's always so great. We learn in tonight's episode that Damien is good at telling jokes. He is a dad after all. <laughs> Got a couple of great dad jokes in there. Uh, he's trying to learn how to be a father. Uh, but on top of that, Ray Palmer has to teach Nora Dark how they do things on a classic Legends mission. Yeah, the Legends of Tomorrow, AKA the All-Stars of Bad First Impressions. That's what they're known for. That's what Ray is all about. And because this is a very Ray Palmer, the Adam-centric episode, I'm gonna give you guys a great comic book connection. Check this out. Go get the collection called Legends of Tomorrow, The Atom. It has got some of the best Ray Palmer Adam stories of all time. We've got his first appearance in there. We've got an awesome team up with Hawkman, one of his best friends, Hawkman, which really breaks down why they're such good friends. We've got a phenomenal team up with Ryan Choi, the new Adam, which is really cool. That's Justice League of America, The Atom, issue number one, Rebirth, right? It's in there, right there in the title. And maybe my favorite Adam story of all time, a story in which he kind of hits rock bottom, Ray Palmer. Which, is, which was kind of like tough to read, but of course he perseveres because he is the Atom. He is a superhero. So do me a favor, throw on that amazing Legends of Tomorrow soundtrack by our bud, Blake Neely, and try and picture the soothing tones of Brandon Routh's gorgeous voice going through your ears as you read the words coming out of Ray Palmer's mouth in these awesome comics that is Legends of Tomorrow, The Atom, and whatever you do, do not miss tonight's brand new episode of Legends of tomorrow. And later tonight, after the kids go to bed, then the devil comes out to play. Brand new episode of Lucifer, later tonight, and here's what's going down. Massive revelation coming to you in five, four, tres, deux, one. Kane is Tom Welling. Tom Welling is Kane. Tom Welling is playing Kane of Cain and Abel fame. The biblical brothers ever heard of him? Come on, nobody saw that coming. Kane? Really? And Lucifer has tried to figure out a plan to try to help Kane out. Because let's just put it this way, they have made Dad mad. <laughs> okay, watch out, uh-oh. Big guy upstairs, a big man upstairs. Don't want to make him mad. <laughs> Don't want to make our roommate upstairs angry because he'll, he'll stomp us back down. You can't take that broom and do that. All right, so here's what's happening in tonight's episode. When a murder investigation reveals the dark side of Hollywood, then Lucifer and the cast are gonna investigate the dark side of Hollywood. But it also includes a young Hollywood assistant wrapped up in this. And here's what's going down. This assistant has become the reincarnation of Abel Kane's brother. <gasps> what? Are you serious? And, quote unquote, Abel is played by Lauren Lapkus. Ladies and gentlemen, she's hilarious. You're gonna have a good time watching her play Abel tonight. Here's what I can say about Abel. The dude likes the ladies, okay? So it might get a little awkward, whoa-oh. I mean, every time Abel tries to engage in any kind of a revelry, Kane shows up and kills him, or in this case, her, or whatever, over and over and over throughout all of time. So how are Lucifer and the gang gonna help Kane and Abel in tonight's episode? Well, I tell you what, if you're gonna watch it, I can guarantee a couple of things. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be funny, it's gonna be a little sexy, maybe a little naughty but you're gonna have yourselves a good time. So be sure to check out Lucifer tonight. And later this week on Thursday night on an all new episode of Arrow, here's what's happening y'all. Oliver Queen has been outed as the Green Arrow and this time actually seems pretty serious. Yikes, plus last time we saw Black Siren wash up on shore pretending to be Laura Lance. Oh man, talk about throwing a wrench in the works. Oh brother, ugh. 
Cannot wait to see how this plays out. Plus, on Thursday night, we get to see the return of Roy Harper. Yeah, that's right, Roy is back, and Oliver Queen and Team Arrow are shocked to find out. But once they discover the actual circumstances of his return, they figure, you know what, this guy actually might be in trouble. We might have to help Roy out. Why? Because it's Roy, guys. And what does that entail? That means that Thea might suit up. Why? Because it's Roy. Give you guys a Roy Harper-centric Green Arrow comic book connection. Check out Green Arrow The Archer's Quest. This is one of my favorite Green Arrow stories. And in this story, we have got Oliver Queen coming back from the dead and having to put his life back in order after his very own funeral. So he's got a checklist. He's got a bunch of stuff and itinerary that he needs to knock out. First thing on that list, investigate the mystery man who was at his funeral. Now, if you're asking, how did Oliver Queen know who even showed up at his funeral? Be honest, if you came back from the dead, you wouldn't ask your friends and your family and your loved ones who was at your funeral. You, you'd wanna know who showed up, right? That's very human. That's very human. And he's talking to Clark Kent. By the way, I can just, I'm on a first name basis with him. When I say Clark, you guys know that I'm talking about Superman. And he's like, who was there? He's like, well, I was there, Diana was there, Wally was there. And he's like, okay, what about Bruce, Wayne? And Clark's like, Bruce was there. And Ollie's like, I didn't see him in any of the pictures. Bruce was there, trust me, I made sure of it. And I just pictured Batman like hiding up in a tree or something just as a tear shed when he's at his buddy's funeral. Anyway, so he's investigating this mystery man. So he's gonna recruit one of his oldest and dearest friends, Roy Harper, to help him out. Asks him to put on a mask, and then they're off. I mean, they're on a road trip, they're kicking butt. It is fantastic. We get to see this beautiful relationship between these two great characters, Oliver Queen, Roy Harper. You feel the bond, you feel the love between these two guys. And here's a bonus. In The Archer's Quest, you get maybe, definitively, the greatest Solomon Grundy fight in comic book history. Mm, this thing is brutal. Man, can we show some pictures of that? Gyeich, ow, wowie, zawa. Ooh, I didn't know arrows could fit in there. So guys, that's Green Arrow, The Archer's Quest. Be sure to check that out. And like I always say, put on the soundtrack from the show. Picture the actor's voices coming through your brain as you read it. You're gonna have yourself a good time. And do not miss the new episode of Arrow, Thursday night. And here's the rest of you guys' DC TV lineup for the week. You've got a brand new episode of iZombie tonight on Monday, new episodes of Black Lightning and The Flash tomorrow night on Tuesday, and later this week, a brand new episode of Gotham on Thursday night. Speaking of Gotham, last week we had a chance to sit down with Selena Kyle herself, Cameron B. Condova, which was awesome. It was so awesome, in fact, that she actually never left. She's still here. Um, I don't blame her. The offices here are pretty rad, but can we cut to a live feed of her right now? Hi, I'm Cameron Beacon Dova. I play Selena Kyle on Gotham, and I'm here at the DC headquarters! Look, look, there I am. Okay, I'm ready. I am about to go into the library and look at all these Catwoman comic books. What caught my eye was actually the celebration of 75 years. It goes through Catwoman's phases from the beginning and shows the horrid face mask that they had her wearing initially. It's really close to my face. Then it shows the eventual really cute purple mask. She's chic. And it's just crazy to me. And it goes back further. I'm in the offices now. And I came across these. They're all Catwoman. Julie's my favorite. She said. This artwork, I love it. The Joker is crazy. Set from the animated series. Set from, are you serious? Yeah. This is the set from the animated series. When I first walked into this door, I was freaked out because that man didn't move. But it's Clark Kent! Bro, you're not even writing down anything important and you need a manicure. See you later. <sighs> Somebody's office door is Catwoman. Doesn't that look sick? There's only one Batman, but there are thousands of Batmans. And there's only one Catwoman. She's one in a million. Harley looks really cool too. So they brought me up to, are we on the ninth floor, the eighth, down to, we're in the basement. So I was looking at this because it's just visually attractive, but then they told me that it's an image of the first comic that DC ever published, 1935. It's officially the reference library. You can look at it right here. Boom. Did they say that the Catwoman whip is in there? It's crazy that I'm even here. So they brought me to the game room. And you know what I'm about to do? I'm not good at driving. Don't tell them. All right, so Mr. Freeze is my opponent. <laughs> Jump jets? Heck yeah. Dead. 
the heck? I have a helicopter? Mission complete. So that was the tour. Thank you so much, DC, for having me. And oh, it looks familiar. Make sure to tune in to Gotham every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Fox. All right, bye. And now it's time for questions and answers. Last week I asked you guys to tell me about some kind of a band that you'd want to put together with DC TV characters. I know that I had Solomon Grundy as a drummer, so let's see what y'all said. The Last Hyena says, Lucifer on piano, Black Lightning on electric guitar, Supergirl on vocals, and Harrison Wells on drums. That's perfect. I would buy that album. Ben Sterling says, my band would have Kara and Barry singing, Wally on the drums, Oliver with the guitar, and Cisco and Caitlin both on the piano. Oh, I like that, little dueling pianos action. Nice. They would just work well together, you know, they'd be able to do that. O'Dog McGee says, Ray Palmer, one man band. Just imagine it. Oh man, there'd probably be a great contraption that he builds to pull that off. I like it. Liam Leggett says, I don't know about a band, but I'm getting a smooth jazz vibe from Joe West and Jefferson Pierce together. Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Nice way to mellow out the evening at the end. Oh, beautiful. Jeffrey Rosario says, if I would have a band, I would have Thunder on drums, The Kid Flash on guitar, Jesse Quick on bass, and Lightning on keys. Well, <laughs> I don't know about you, but that band sounds electric. Dad jokes. All right, guys, this brings us to our question of this week for next week. I love seeing Damien Dark pull off some classic dad joke one-liners, and it got me thinking, you know what? I want to read some great dad jokes from you guys. So go ahead and comment below your best dad joke about any DC TV character, and we're going to do some stand-up comedy next week. All right, guys, that's all I can tell you this week without revealing some major spoilers. But remember, once the episodes have aired, be sure to head over to DCComics.com to check out the hashtag DCTV Couch Club recaps for all of those huge, important moments. And we'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go look for Cameron to make sure that she can get on a plane and get back to set so that we can have the rest of the season of Gotham. All right, see you guys next time. Cameron. Cameron.